Hi, today I wanted to share my favorite DIY lip balm recipe with you guys because as both an addict and a connoisseur of lip balms, I felt that it was my duty to do so. So without more chit chat, let's do this. The first order of business is gathering some of your supplies. First, you need a heat safe jar. I prefer one of these measuring cups because it has a little spout that makes pouring your product a million times easier. So this is what I would recommend, but if you don't have access to one of these, just find something that you know to be very, very heat safe. Next up, you need some beeswax. All I could find on my shopping mission was this huge block of beeswax but in the actual recipe that I'm going off of it says to use beeswax pellets which can be found on Amazon but for me this was perfect. Next up shea butter. Shea butter is amazing and can pretty much be found in almost every hyper moisturizing product. It really makes all the difference in the world especially if you have lips that are on the drier side, like I do. Now, I know that a lot of this stuff, you do have to go out on a special journey to get them, and that's a bit different than most of the DIYs I like to do on here, but I'm telling you, it's just worth it. And once you do have these ingredients around, you can continue to make this lip balm as many times as you like, so in my opinion, it's very worth it. Sweet almond oil is an ingredient that I have personally never bought or had any experience with. In just making this video, I found it to be really nice, light, and extremely hydrating. It also has a really pleasant, light smell, which I'm always partial to. First up, we're just adding a tablespoon of beeswax. Next, a tablespoon of shea butter. And finally, two tablespoons of your sweet almond oil. Now you're going to create a double boiler, and this is something I use really frequently in my DIYs. All it is is a boiling pot of water with a heat safe glass put into the water. The reason we do this is because we want to heat the ingredients within the second cup, but we don't want to burn them or overheat them. Just pop these into your double boiler and continuously stir until everything's melted together. This can take a bit of time if you did use a block of beeswax and cut it up as I did. In hindsight, I would have cut up my beeswax in slightly smaller pieces but ultimately it really didn't matter because it all blended in the end anyway. After melting these things together grab it with an oven mitt please. I always burn myself every time I DIY it and you know someday I'll stop but today's not that day. Do as I say not as I do. Now comes the fun part. You get to create your own scent for this lip balm. I'm a huge fan of rose and peppermint, so I thought to myself, why not combine the two? You can use any essential oils you like, tangerine, vanilla, spearmint, peppermint, anything you like. Add 10 to 15 drops to your mixture and stir continuously again. You're going to notice that these two things aren't blending spectacularly well, but it's okay, just continue mixing. It's kind of an oil and water type situation, I think. Now comes the part where you just pour it into your little lip balm container. I found these at my local grocery store, but again, you could go to Amazon or my favorite tactic, just use old lip balm containers. It's super easy and what else are you gonna do with them? This is really where having that pouring container comes in handy. I really recommend it. It is the most worth it step to the whole process. Just pour your mixture into your container and allow it to sit for 15 to 20 minutes. If you're feeling really impatient, which we've all been there, I understand you, you can just pop this in the fridge for about 10 minutes and it'll speed it up a little. All right, everybody, we're done here today. I really hope you enjoyed that. If you'd like, you can check out some of my other DIY videos right here. And I have a DIY mask right here. That really busts some blemish booty. Great alliteration, me. Thank you, me. Fantastic. Moving on. If you want to come back next week, I make loads of videos on here and I love having you. Please come back and to do that, you can subscribe. I popped a little subscribe button right here that you can click on to just join me on the reg. I really hope you guys are doing well and I will see you next time. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching.